my father, Hugh, in the hospital towards the end when he looked so different, he was still the one comforting me. He never changed. It was, it was like, like what when I was in third grade and he was in the car accident and he totaled his Ford. He broke his arm and he bruised some ribs. I was sitting next to him in the hospital then too. And he told me not to be afraid. He said that the pain might continue, but the suffering would stop as long as I stopped being afraid. At his bedside two weeks ago, he said, I'm not afraid to die. <laughs> oh, what the hell are you afraid of then? I asked him to explain. And he said, he'll never know when it's over. He won't know not knowing. That it was for us, his survivors, to experience his death. He said that the best way to honor that and to honor him is to keep living and loving what we do and to love life and the people in it. Thank you all for coming and showing your love and support. Now on to the life that he advocated. Hi, I'm Darian, I'm Ken's boss. Listen, I don't really know this guy, but when Ken asked off work, I did some social media stalking and found the details of the funeral. A lot of people think you need to be close to the person who died to feel sad. Not true. Seeing Ken hanging her head these past few days or weeks or well, however long it's been, has really stirred some emotion in me. Don't need a weight to feel heavy. You don't need blood to bleed. Jesus didn't need floaty shoes to walk on water. You can want something you don't need. Don't need to know this fella to feel sad, just like I don't need tears to cry. I know a lot of you folks right now might feel bad, but listen up, so do I. It sucks that this old guy had to go and die, but don't give blame the burden. It's not your fault, like it's not mine. Unless this was a murder. It wasn't a murder, was it? My heart is where it ought to be. My pipes won't lie. As long as they're tootin'. Hey, this was one hell of a guy. Be consoled, he's up above. And he's looking down at me. And he whispers in my ear, Darla, Darla? Is there someone named Darla here? Oh, now he's hushing up, his voice is lost. But wait, what's that? It's the voice of God. He says you don't need to know what you're talking about. You don't need to get it all right. As long as you've got a good heart and you want to show off that good heart now go and show off that good heart shine blind light shine blind light shine blind light use your high beams shine blind light you don't have to get it right.
Thanks. You don't have to get it right.